this video as not only is it a throwback to some of my previous videos and series that I've done, but it's based around one of my favorite sort of thing, or combining two of my things that I like. It is a very BTS Lego set. I am very excited to build this set with you today. For those unaware, I am a pretty big fan of BTS and K-pop in general. There are many references to BTS scattered throughout my videos. Um, I've done many videos with something BTS related as well as some merchandise. There's a blanket behind me as well. And I originally wanted to make this video when this set released, but of course, ARMY they had to buy it immediately, so I could not buy it. But as soon as I saw this available, I instantly bought it to make it into this video, which I'm very excited about. We did Lego videos previously, a long time ago, but we stopped doing them. So this is sort of a return to form, to some of my older style content. But let's open this up and see what is inside, okay? Okay, so I cut open the box. Let's flip this around. Since it opens upwards. see all of the bags. Let me just take these out very quick. side. This is everything we are working with. It is quite a lot, so I'm just going to quickly clear the desk of all the unnecessary bags. It looks like we have four or maybe even five bags to do. Okay, I got all of the one bags out, as well as some of these pieces. Let's take a look at this. Instructions. I've never seen them in like this weird other pouch thing.
some information about the BTS group as well as having it in Spanish. Then they have more information about Dynamite in particular, which is what this set is based on. Then we get the Meet the Lego Designers. Excellent, very colorful. And more Lego designers in very brightly colored clothes. And now we can begin the actual build itself. Okay, it has been a very long time since I have actually built Legos. It has been a while since I've built Legos. And so it might be difficult for me to kind of do this. I haven't built Legos in, I would say, maybe over a year at this point. I saw my Lego orders page of when the last time I ordered Legos for these videos and they were dated to uh, January 2022 so it indeed has been a while and we have V already here V wow sit them down on the pop vinyl and we also have gin as well already built we can also sit them down on the pop vinyl we've also built these like do i don't know what these are called the uh, caution cones or something wow already making great progress so it does seem like this is going to be a pretty long build, a pretty long build. And so we probably won't go through all of the instructions together. Uh, for those who don't know, this is basically the format of my Lego videos. I will just talk non-stop basically throughout the entire video while building Legos. And for those who may be wondering, is why I hate stickers. I don't know if you can see that 
but that stick job is terrible. I can't believe it. <sighs> this saddens me. Another. Of course, now we are building this Lego set. This Lego set was always the exception. I was willing to show out the big bucks to make this Lego set on video. It is just unfortunate that we're doing it a bit late, but I still wanted to make it even if it doesn't have that same uh, recency, recency factor. But I'll tell you what, right now I think I'm just going to be quiet and for just a little bit and let you enjoy the uh, building sounds if that is okay with you. Okay, I'll be quiet for just a little bit.
ice cream truck together. Was that boring for you to watch? Just me silently clicking Legos together. Let me try to put V inside. He's gonna... Okay, well, I can't really stick him in. My fingers are too fat. But there you go. The little ice cream truck. Next, we are going to build the stage for the boys, it seems. Wow. Very good. So, I am back. Back to talking again. Let me know in the comments which style do you prefer? Do you prefer the Lego building with no talking or do you prefer me talking? Personally, I think that me talking is better simply because this setup isn't really that good for Lego building sounds. I don't really have any good microphone for this situation. And speaking of setup, you may have noticed this very strange setup. This was something I had to think pretty hard about on how to do this in this way. You've never really seen me through this angle before. Quite yet. This is a first time. And I had to do this because I actually threw away my old tripod that had, uh, that had, uh, broke quite some time ago. I had to throw that away. And I didn't want to buy a new one just for this video or maybe a couple more Lego videos. So, I managed to come up with this setup. Let me know in the comments how you think I did. Okay, I think I did pretty good for the limited resources that I have. Good. Very good. I just built all of these gears. Excellent, excellent. It's just the same thing. Over and over again. So I should maybe explain some of my history with K-pop. I got introduced by I did not 
discover ASMR through a popular creator. I discovered it through K-pop. Uh, for specifics, I, at this time, was sort of following a, at least new to me, group. will actually work well or if this won't. Let's see, it's supposed to be a stage where you put the members on and they spin. It does work, so we did build it successfully. Put V on there as well. And now they can dance. Wow, I'm holding it the wrong way. Now they can dance. So we built the stage, we built the cones, and we built the ice cream chuck truck. And that is it for bag two. I mean bag one, so we can move on to bag two. We have opened up bag two. Let's build our minifigures as I finish this story. Yeah, okay. So, um, I was following this group, ATs, this boy group, and they did a interview in ASMI. It is the M2 interview with Wu Young and San from the group. And I had watched this music, I mean, not this music video, this ASMR video, not for the ASMR, but just for the interview. But then one day, I could not sleep, and for some reason, I decided that I would put on the ASMI interview and I actually fell asleep to that. And uh, I actually kept doing that for a little bit where I would just watch the same video if I ever needed to fall asleep to it just over and over again. Until eventually, of course, the same thing with K-pop, I branch out and I find um, other professionals and other people doing it. And that is how I discovered ASMR. Okay, and we did make Rap Monster, RM or Namjoon. And uh, I believe this is... Uh, Jungkook, yeah. I think this is Jungkook, yeah. I might be wrong with that, but I think this is correct. Let's put these guys on the stage. And by the way, M2, the YouTube channel, still does K-pop interview and ASMR and I still watch it very frequently. It's actually a good ASMR source if you want to listen to something a little bit different. I recommend it. I still listen to them quite frequently. Uh, now that being said, I think we are going to do a time lapse through back to since I don't want this to be so long of a video. So, I will see you at the end of bag two. Goodbye. Why, hello there. It has been quite a while. We made a lot of progress in the build. Take a look at what we've got here. We have just a wall right here. And if we turn it around, we have the, uh, the shop, what is this called? There's a thing that these things are called. Music.
music discs, vinyl, vinyl records of the vinyl record shop with a bunch of vinyl records, including a bunch of BTS, Dynamite, and other BTS albums. Uh, we built a lot. There's a little basketball scene from uh, Suga's part of the video. So, just a lot of references to other parts of uh, the music video. Uh, took quite a while to do, but this is sort of the base line and some details. I think the next one is really when we begin to see where things take shape. It's also very large, so it's very hard for me to sort of manage this now. But we must continue on. Let us open up the third bag. And let's build these two minifigures. says donuts that point 
let's do something. And then we have the stand thing. We expanded this out a little bit and we built the donut shop with the spinning donut. Wow, that's cool. And then you turn it around and then you see all the uh, donut related things. It's pretty cool. Well, we only have one more bag left and as promised, I will do this bag with you. Just building the mini figure very quickly. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Just trying to find all of the pieces. Just trying to find. song. 
has like printed uh, things where the actual like sticker is printed onto the block. I don't understand why they just don't make the entire set printed. Okay, like I I I hate it. It's the one thing that is holding this set back, and you're paying one hundred dollars, I believe. And you cannot be bothered to have printed bricks. I just think it's a big scam from Lego. A big scam from Lego. I will always. It's just something that I think Lego needs to get better at, especially with these more advanced, more expensive sets that are aimed towards a more, uh, maybe targeted audience or more of a, uh, more of an expensive, older range set. So that very much annoys me. But other than that, so far, this set has been very nice to build a very good return to form for Lego. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, I haven't built Lego in a very long time. And I would definitely say when it comes to building these and maybe it wasn't such a good idea to start with such a large relatively large Lego set I don't think this is the largest we've done but uh, it's certainly up there maybe we should have started smaller I hope that you are enjoying the video let me know in the comments if maybe you want to see more lego videos more lego videos like i said it has been a while since i did a lego video it has been quite some time and you know we really uh, i feel grown very much as a channel so I think it would be interesting to hear what you have to say about these videos yeah so let me know that in the comments down below also let me know what type of music you listen to I listen to all sorts of music, not only K-pop, and I'm curious what sorts of music you listen to. Hopefully in the future, Lego, Lego will release more BTS themed Lego sets. It's like I mentioned at the start. I really like Lego and BTS. So this collaboration very much, very much excited me. I was very happy to see this happen. And I'm very happy that I'm able share it with you and maybe maybe if we're really getting crazy maybe I could get my own Lego set one day that would be kind of crazy wouldn't it I don't think that would ever happen I don't think that would ever happen if I'm being honest but I can at least dream, right? I can dream of a Lego set being made. I don't even know what sort of set I would get, but I would really like that. Wow. I think it would be very cool. 
music video building the disco sign that is in the music video building the disco sign that is in the music video I'm very impressed but he consistently with Lego to be able to recreate some iconic scenes out of just like bricks. They're really like kind of like engineering masters. Like it's crazy that you can recognize what all of these scenes are from the actual music video.